Saffron was discovered sitting on her mooring in the Bravi Passage. She'd been stripped of her rigging and was being used as a motorboat to cruise the canals. Years of exposure to the Queensland sun had taken its toll and she needed stripping right back to the bare bones to get her looking smart again. She was designed in New Zealand and originally known as a coronet. The Kiwis, by necessity, know how to design a seaworthy vessel. I was attracted to her traditional lines and recall my brother having owned a Sunmaid back in Tasmania. We took her on a sail down the Frasinay Peninsula, enjoying some abundant tuna fishing and romping pods of dolphins. Many of these early fiberglass trailer sailors were robustly built so they can be given a second life with a bit of TLC. I wanted her to be fit to sail for the next 50 years. The hull of saffron is solid glass and bulletproof. The cabin top, however, is a foam sandwich construction so as to save weight. A combination of leaking fittings and many summers of blistering heat has caused the foam to break down, causing extensive soft spots. Often people will remove the top layer of fibreglass and replace the foam with sheets before glassing it all back together. I found that I could drill some strategically placed holes and pump good quality foam into the void to get excellent firmness and resilience. I performed several biopsies that revealed that the original foam had virtually turned to powder. When I pumped the new foam in, there was a satisfying crinkly sound as the remaining foam dissolved like a fruit tingle and retreated under the persuasion of the polyurethane foam implant. Removing the fittings that are fastened with slotted screws and often overlength threads is time consuming and difficult single handed, but fortunately I had the assistance of Jace, whose flexible and slender frame enabled him to work his way into the tightest corners and remove the nuts and washers. I completed the transom refurb with Dave a few weeks back and started using butylmastic tape to positively secure and seal the fastenings. They're just waiting for a quick trim with a Stanley knife to tidy them up. I sand timber floors for a living, so I'm very experienced in stripping back to bare timber. Even with my take no prisoners approach, it took a full day to get the deteriorating polyurethane off the few pieces of wood that came off the deck and a first coat of two pack Racine applied. I'm using the same product to maintain several cafe tables that get heavy sun exposure and a lot of abrasion from the sand that's in the environment. I'm impressed with its resilience and long life. And while I was at it, I decided to get stuck into my wife's cutting board, which is made from hewn pine. And in fact, this piece of timber comes from the transom of an earlier John Foop boat that a friend of mine built. When you're working on an extensive project like Saffron, it's important not to take your eye off the reward. You find yourself dealing with hot sticky days, sanding, scraping and painting, and nights on the couch dealing with prickly fibreglass dust making your skin crawl. And then there's the fact that the budget always blows out. I need to take a deep breath and get back on the water. Despite poorly tuned rigging, flapping sails and messy patchy surfaces, all this is quickly forgotten when the breeze hits 10 to 15 knots on a perfect spring day at the Bribey Passage.
Saffron will soon be all sparkly and new in her fresh coat of paint and fully fitted out for some serious coastal sailing. Sadly, it won't be me sailing in her, as no sooner did she hit the water than my imagination was gripped with the opportunity to undertake the refurbishment of a classic John Philp 18-foot day sailor. My loyalties are divided at the moment, but the fact is that three boats on our small property are pretty hard to manage, so Saffron is on the market. I'm gradually clearing out a bit of stuff that's built up in the garage and discovered that Moonlight is quietly hiding away there underneath all the bits and pieces that are going to bring Claire de Lune back to life. I hope you enjoyed this video. It'd help me out a real lot if you'd take the time just to click on the subscribe button because the more people I get subscribing, the more people see the channel and it helps me to keep the videos coming.